So if you want to understand what's going on musically behind the mahogany session of Little Blue, you are in the right place. I'm going to break it down, give you my expert analysis alongside my reaction as well. Let's check it out. So. Hmm. E flat. There we go. <laughs> That's the world that we're in, it would seem. So let me just pick up on that point. So how I'm able to tell um, what the key center of the song is, is based on honestly just feeling the main gravitational pull harmonically. So I could hear at the start, if I just go back to it, there was a feature, if I just play it again here. The highest note of E flat keeps being repeated. Check it out. So it starts with a kind of oh do it. Let me let me hear that again. Mm, oh it's five. <laughs> so the, the the first note you hear is that, which is fine, but what I'm looking for is something that's consistent and in this case the E flat is played on the highest register. Over this five. So this is the major scale, I'll do it down an octave. So, that's the first note, and then you've got this. So essentially a five to one interval, and the highest note. That's what's really kind of pulling me in terms of why, where I'm feeling the harmony center. In this case, it's gonna be E flat. Yeah, and I heard that on the guitar, but it's all in relation to that E flat major triad. Sounds like he's essentially just playing around with notes of the major scale of E flat, but still with that E flat as a center. Yeah, so essentially all over chord one. And he's really established it there. <laughs> Little blue. Be my shelter, be my cradle, be my All right, right there. <laughs> That's a, um, essentially like a sus chord in the five, which resolves to the five to one. So let's actually establish what the chord progression is fundamentally. Now, granted, this version just has him on the guitar, so most likely he's going to kind of open up a little bit and add some variations to the harmony. But let's see what, what we can establish from this from the outset. So we've got this intro. Little blue. Well, right there, once again, Jacob with the inversions. I've done quite a few um, breakdowns so far of the, um, his approach to harmony. And this chord keeps coming up. This one chord with a three on the left hand, so first inversion. He uses this chord a lot in terms of passing, especially in this case, well, he's going from three to four. And that's beautiful as opposed to just going one little blue. You got this one and then you got little blue. So it's a passing chord, but it's all in relation to that one. Alright, so we've got E flat to start with. E flat. Little blue. To the four, as you can see. Be my shelter. Alright, so five, six, okay. Be my cradle. Once again. Be my cradle, is it? That was nice. So, little blue, be my shelter, being my cray. And you got this kind of, so a sus on the five, resolve into the major, to the, and then I think it's, he's going to go back to E flat. Yeah, I like those inflections. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Be my ball. Once again, that chord. That's a really good option to know to go from 
this chord, which is still chord one to four. You just have this inversion. Beautiful, beautiful, Jacob. Be my river, be the stillness of the moon. Oh, that was beautiful. That was <laughs> hear that. So on the five, and then rather than going to one, which he would he did before, he's got yeah. So four, once again, it's inversions. Jacob loves his inversions. So he's doing a first inversion of chord four. So he's got this note, then the seven, and then the one. Yeah, because before it was. But this time. Once again, like we had the first inversion chord of chord one going to the four. Right here, he's got first inversion of four, granted, but it's this seven to one, and he's playing the seven as a five chord, a B flat major. So you've got this semitonal kind of pull with the bass. Seven, one, as like before, little blue, same kind of stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. I like it. <laughs> If I could uh, if I could. So he's adding the, he's adding the two. Or in this case the six of the chord. The F. That was uh, yeah, that was a head turner. <laughs> if I could yeah. I go with you to a place I never So essentially the same kind of chord progression. In your eyes So dark and open There's a light that leads me back to you I like how he just holds on that five. Essentially, essentially a one. It's essentially a one in second inversion. Yeah. He's resolving it. Sure, sure. Cause you're not so far. Okay, we're changing. You can, we can hear that the harmony's changed. That's a six, that's a C. Minor. Da, 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 ba. Cause you're not and I also, I want to just go back on that. That last chord. Back to you. He's actually got the resolve. So he's got this. And then somehow with the guitar, he's. he's so he's essentially got this sus implied five so a sus chord if I just add that for the sake of example but then somehow he's able to also get the resolve here <laughs> or somewhere within the chord so he's kind of got both of them going on so a bit of kind of blurring just to pick up on that you can hear that oh yay I can, I can i literally heard that so that was that was definitely a one in, in, in uh, as such yeah so it's still creating a kind of sus chord or you could think about it fundamentally as a as i said before a one chord one e flat major the second inversion but it's the fact that he's able to get the resolve note in there as well check it out so dark and open so i'll play along There's a light right here that me back to you. Yeah, that's beautiful. You got that like, semitonal move. Anyway, I digress. Six. But so far away, I hear you say, oh. I'll never walk alone. I bet it's gonna be a B. I could be wrong, but I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> Cause somehow it's modulated. So that if if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, that was a da 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 da. -da. I hear you say you never walk alone. What chord was that? I want to hear that. Is that flat seven? Ah, oh, I think it was. Let me check it out. Cause you're not so far away. I'm kind of hearing that more so. Da -da -da -da. Essentially like a minor. He's not playing all the minor notes, to be honest. But it's, it's, he's essentially just playing that. Yeah, so. Cause you're not so far away I hear you 
To these inversions, yeah, of, of four. Wow, that was beautiful. I'm gonna play that again. That was wonderful. Okay. Cause you know it's so far away. Oh yeah. I hear you say you'll never walk. Away. Beautiful. Ooh, and once again, that chord right there. Beautiful. Ooh. Don't be afraid of the dark in your heart. Got the choir, okay. You're gonna find a way to carry the weight of the world on your Oh the guitar the weight of the world on your shoulder. You better slide, Jacob. You're gonna find your way. So I said, you got this. I would kind of go if it was me. <laughs> but yeah, that last note, let me, let me catch that. Oh, so, da, da. so it's kind of like holding progression. Yeah, yeah da, da. So essentially going from chord one to four. You know, I'm really kind of thinking about this like a five. Well, he's not quite doing all those notes, yeah. But then back to the four. <laughs> it's all over one. Yeah. Little blue. Back to the verse. Be my anchor, be my light, my compass star. Ah, those inflections. <laughs> be my darkness, be my danger. You better sing, I want to hear that again. Darkness, be my danger. <laughs> That. And darkness be my danger. Uh, uh, ooh, essentially, he's, just, he's implying that C minor chord, and that's interesting because, if I'm not mistaken, does he darkness be my day. Ah, oh, it's over the six. Yeah, it's over that C minor. So he's literally implying the, the notes around that six. Beautiful. This C minor chord being the six. Of this girl, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I want to hear that one more time. Star. Ooh. Be my darkness, be my danger. Be the beautiful of my guitar. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do something. <laughs> A word painting. What's that? Is that is that, is that down the major scale? Be the strings of my He's gonna work out something. Yeah, he's like yeah. Little <laughs> down a major scale, essentially. Ooh, how I love you something strong. The range. The sing check. Oh, I'm gonna catch that. That was a that kind of feel. How I love you. Something strong, something true. No, essentially diminished. In your yeah, so it's kind of like this, and then and then back to. Let me play it so I can show you guys. Let's back up to that. Oh my goodness. Something strong, So dear and gentle. 
leads me back to you Cause you're not so far Ooh. <laughs> You better sing, Jacob, so this is the C minor bit I hear you say you never walk on if, if I'm not mistaken Oh. Alright, he's changed he's, he's changed the key He's changed the key oh, no, We're gonna catch that Alright, so Cause you're not so far away No, that's an A That's gonna be an A Yep, my A minor I hear you say And you can hear it's the same kind of pattern You'll never walk alone Catch that in a moment. That's stuff, so that's going to be. That's an A minor, and then it would probably have to go to. So essentially, at this point, he's thinking about the key of C. Yeah, because that's the 6 in C, because we had 6, 3. It's going to be a 6, 3 in this key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. Okay, let's back up to that. We're going to get all of this. Come on. Because <laughs> you're not so. Never walk. Okay, where is he there? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Sounds like he's gone up to the key of e A. Never walk alone. Okay, let me just play that through. Oh, far away, I hear you sing. And actually, I hear he's actually got the inversion of the C there. So let me just explain that. Da -da -da -ba -ba. Right here, I hear you say to the F. You'll never walk. Sure. Oh. Singing. Don't be afraid. Mm. <laughs> Back to E flat. That was a lot. Afraid <laughs> of the dark. In your heart, you're gonna f just to say, by the way. So, he, he went from E, e flat and like that, to the key of C uh, and then to A. Wow, okay, and then back to E flat. Find your way to cat, and maybe some more in between. Carry <laughs> the way of the world. On your shoulders, you're gonna find your way. Don't be afraid. Yeah, so this is all in relation to E flat. Of the you can hear the, the choir is going into harmony at that point. Don't be afraid of the light. It's alright. You're gonna find your way. Carry the weight of the world on your shoulder. I can still hear on that five. Yeah, that inversion. Rather than just going straight to the there, <laughs> he's got that inversion of chord one. You're gonna find your way. That was interesting. That at that point he did do the normal five. One second, let me hear that. Carry the weight of the world. still hear that inversion Jacob oh. <laughs> oh. this is good <laughs> this is a workout so it seems like you know he's got this feature where with the five chord he just loves having that 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 blurring I'm going to refer to it as in terms of even when you might think it's a major chord probably that that raised third one two three four the four, you know, it's gonna be there somewhere, creeping in. All right, Jacob, I see. <laughs> You're gonna find your way. Sure. So you got them 
was thinking, ooh, 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 Got them singing a first inversion chord, no, a second inversion chord. Oh, of chord one, E flat major. I got you, Jacob. So he's got them commanding. Essentially, he's commanding them. Um, you know, essentially implying the chords, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's all like a pella now. Okay. To carry the weight of the world. Yeah, I think I'm still good. On yeah. On your shoulders, you're gonna find your way. Find your. I think I missed it a little bit. <laughs> I think I, I'll see if I can catch it. I think we're about here now. Don't be afraid. Chord one. Of the I have to think about it. That was altos and sopranos right here. It's alright. Is that everyone? Yeah. You're gonna. F that was altos and sopranos coming up. Oh, I have to think about this. Are we going up or down? I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Right, we're definitely here. You're gonna find okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna let him go. <laughs> to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, you're gonna find your way. Find your way. Come on, Jacob. Thank you all. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed this reaction and analysis, breaking down this mahogany session, please don't forget to give the th uh, video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video.